Hey there, it's Stu from the Little House of Beans. I suppose we could come a little closer here. And uh, today we are going to do a full tour of the Surf RV Resort, which is here in Palmetto, Florida. Palmetto is right over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge from St. Pete. So if you're thinking St. Pete, you go over the bridge, another four miles or so, and you are here at the Surf RV Resort. We are here at uh, the top of December of 2022 and this is opening weekend so there's almost nobody here so when you see the aerial footage you'll see a lot of empty sites and uh, you'll also see some construction that's still going on so they're still building more sites here what I'm going to show you is uh, I'm going to do a drive around I'm not going to show you every single site there's just too many to do but uh, most of the sites are the same you're either you either back up to waterfront which is where we are or you have an interior uh, spot this is not rustic camping by any stretch of the imagination. This is RV resort camping. So here you're going to find a pool and a spa and, and, and bocce courts and, uh, and pickleball courts. Why do I have trouble saying pickleball? Why can't I just say pickleball? Uh, this is RV resort type camping. So there's no trees, uh, no woods, no dirt. It's very, very clean. To give you a, an idea of how close you are to Tampa, all right, downtown Tampa, or uh, I like to use Amelie Arena, is uh, 26 miles from here. Uh, if you're looking for a place to stay when you go to the Tampa RV Show, which uh, the big show is in January uh, at Mid Florida Amphitheater, Amphitheater uh, you're 31 miles from there. St. Pete Beach, again, right over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, that's only 16 miles. Clearwater Beach, 30 miles. Sarasota is an only only another 10 miles south of here. Siesta Key, Siesta Key Beach is only 16 miles. Fort Myers Beach is 86 miles from here. Uh, they do give you a welcome packet here. So 12 miles from here, Anna Marie Island, Lido Key, Cochina Beach, 12 miles, and so on and so forth. So uh, I like to think of this as a uh, another brand new Tampa area RV resort and uh, we're gonna take you around. If I look at the amenities, where's the amenities list here? Heated infinity pool, spa, cornhole courts, bocce courts, two dog parks, dog wash station, laundry facility, pet dedicated laundry machine, I did see that, and I'll tour you through the men's bathroom. Uh, bathhouse, fire pits, fitness room, ah, very big fitness room, I was in there too. You know how I like to work out. Large parking near Clubhouse, EV charging station, I did see one of those. Uh, vehicle and golf cart parking, tiki bar, outdoor entertainment pavilion, mail kiosk, paved nature path. So I'm gonna show you my site and I'll talk a little bit as I show you what my site looks like. This is site 225 and you can see I'm only one site away from the Clubhouse and right there is the gatehouse where you pull in. So. Uh, I'm just kind of turning around. You can see what these sites look like. They are empty. They're very, very big. Extremely big. This is, I can't read that. Site 218, I can't read it. So, but this is my site. And again, they're all the same size and you can see how nicely manicured the grass looks like it uh, was just put down. And uh, again, it's opening weekend. So maybe they don't have all the kinks out, but we were sitting out here last night and all the sprinklers went off. And so I had to move all my furniture uh, so it didn't get wet. But uh, this is, I guess, one of the back up to the water type sites. And this is one of the many, I, I don't know, do I call it a lake? Do I call it a pond? In any event, the sites are all full hookups. They have uh, sewers, as you can see here. Actually, this site has two sewers, one here and one over there, right? And then you have your electrical. I got 30, 50 on that side. You know, 110 on the other side, which I'm not using, 110. And uh, again, there's two, two sewers. Uh, definitely made for a big rig. Uh, our rig is not that big. Have you noticed what's uh, missing? There's something missing from this site, and I need to talk to the manager about this, but I was told uh, that they do not supply picnic tables. And that, to me, is really, really weird. 
I mean, super weird. Why wouldn't you have picnic tables? So, and I couldn't, I didn't find any mention of it on the, on the website. So you need to know in advance that uh, you have to bring tables of some sort. So there you have it, site 225. And that's the office where you would check in. And if you're after five o'clock, so that's the office. I can get through. I got you. I'll open up. Thank you. And so when you come in, if you're here between 12 and 5, you're going to come to the office to register and fill out any paperwork that you may or may not have completed. We were here after five, so we went straight to the gatehouse. But this is where you check in. And this is the inside of guest services. Well, he gets no cake. And so this is where you will come. This is where you will come to check in. There's the clubhouse behind me. We're going to go inside right now. 6250. And into the clubhouse we go. Seagrass room. Full kitchen. To the right. Men's and women's. Here's a little social area right here. Get a billiard room. Oh, and chess and checkers in the corner there. And <laughs> this is great. Little poker room. That's awesome. I don't want to bother these guys here. Morning, gentlemen. And you got some workstations here, a little sitting room with lots of books. Some workstations and a printer. That's very nice. Yeah. And this would be going out to the pool area. So there's a whole area here. That's the other side of the parking lot. Let's see if we can get in here. Morning, boys. So you have a bar here. This is where I was last night when we first came in. And I got some photos of the pool at night. But this is pretty much what it looks like. It's awfully nice. I don't have what I meant by what I said. And then lots and lots of seating. What's back here? Ah, I was looking for this last night. So you have another fire pit here, and then this looks like a jacuzzi or spa, whatever they call it. I see jets. And here are the rules for the spa. And you can come up here. Everything is handicap accessible, including the pool. And then we walk back over. Lots of tables, lots of chairs, an entire barbecue space. 
beautiful outdoor kitchen. And then we'll come out the other side. And this would be the other side. So they do have food trucks here. Uh, we actually ate at a food truck that was here last night. Not the food trucks I grew up with. Very fancy lobster food truck. And then here's another entrance into the clubhouse. Oh, sorry, the gym. And a dance exercise room. More restrooms. And we come back out and back to where we started. So that's your clubhouse. Oh, there is another entire dining space here. Can they book wedding? People book weddings here? Um, a little too soon? Yeah. Or some sort of uh, corporate function. This is the ballroom. This is where I'll Ah, this is the ballroom. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is one side of the clubhouse, and you can see uh, looks like a pool table, and uh, those little mini shuffleboards. There's bocce ball courts here, as you can see. It looks like there'll be an outdoor bar here. I mean, it looks functional. I didn't see it last night, but I think happy hour is here today. You got a fire pit over here. It's very nice. So this is one side of the clubhouse. Look, they even have stands for the pickleball, maybe a pickleball tournament. Another fire pit over here.
Um, it's got at least the men's room it only has one toilet and one urinal and uh, two sinks. And uh, sinks have those automatic faucets. So the bathhouse, the first thing you see are laundry, and then there's men's. I think it's a little small to have uh, just one toilet, but it is awfully clean. So this is what one of the shower rooms looks like. Now I'm going to take a shower. And if you made it this far, you're at the end of the video, and we are about to leave uh, the Surf RV Resort. And uh, uh, overall, I think it's a, a good park. It's definitely a resort style, so uh, don't expect any leaves or, or anything dirt. or dirt or anything rustic. Uh, don't even expect a picnic table because apparently picnic tables, I was told last night, and I remembered this, are for campgrounds, and this is a resort. So uh, in any event, uh, thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell. Uh, if you'd like to be notified, we have so much more camping uh, in the next four months, five months, and uh, all of them are new parks for us, so there'll be new parks for you. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. We put a lot of time into doing this and a lot of energy, so uh, we appreciate your appreciation. And uh, Edie can say the last final words. Normally here I would say she's a woman of few words, but that is so not true. See you on the next one. Say bye. Say bye, Shops. Yeah, I've just got to get some bones. That's it. Bye.